Someone once said to me, go to Croatia, to the lands of Podravina. Let nature guide you. With a little luck, you might discover how it turns peasants into artists. I've only just crossed the border from Hungary and reached the remote lands of northern Croatia when I am welcomed by the sound of the sambalam. This music is fascinating, like a good omen, and I accept the invitation. Because of my work as a wine grower, I can't spend as much time as I'd like with my cymbalum, although I do try to play at least for two hours a day. When I'm heading to the vines to work, the first thing I do is to prepare myself by playing some music. After that, I can start my work as a wine grower. It's the same every day for two hours. I make these instruments because I can see that young people are interested in them. Since 1996, I have trained 13 apprentices in this art. That's unique in Croatia, because there isn't even a single music school where you can learn to play the instrument. To make an instrument like this one, working like I'm doing today for two or three hours, it takes around a month. This includes a week during which I try out the instrument. I see how it sounds, how it responds. No instrument leaves the workshop without that week of tests or without me validating it. It's difficult to date the cymbalum, the earliest traces of which go back to the lands around the Euphrates in Iraq in around 3000 BC. It's an instrument without borders that traveled across Mesopotamia to Central Europe. During its voyage, each country and even each region gave it a different name. These days, a cymbalum maker produces instruments to suit himself, depending on his own aesthetic and musical criteria. As such, each piece is unique. I've noticed that if I don't play a little every day, 
like someone who has to take medicine if they're sick. If I forget to play my instrument, I miss it. I don't feel so good. It does take up my free time, but playing music inspires me. It gives me hope. And I feel like I'm the man I should be, thanks to the symbolism. Without it, I wouldn't be that man. I love this instrument. I look at it, and I've lived with it since I was very young. We know each other very well now. It's my friend, and I'm its. As I discovered these people in their land, I finally felt the link that unites them. And naive art is the most tangible expression of that link. Of all the arts, this is probably one of the most modest for talking about life and nature. Naive art is about accepting to pay homage to nature by looking at it through the eyes of a child. Here, in Hlebine, people have always been farmers, laboring hard on the land to grow food for their survival. Until one day, the miracle of nature transformed the farmers into artists, giving rise to a local style that is recognized around the world. <laughs> 